today's Clash of the Titans between Lincoln City and York City and a bit of a contrast in league positions of the two clubs today with uh, Lincoln City currently in 17th place uh, with 26 points having played 27 games York City actually in a playoff position in 5th place with 46 points from 27 games so uh, both teams needing the points today for completely different reasons uh, and the York manager on the internet last night saying how important he saw today's game so that York can keep their place in the, uh, in the playoff uh, positions we've got Kidderminster and Gateshead both snapping at their heels so important game today here at Central Bank for both sides uh, but for different reasons obviously Lincoln uh, still reeling from two defeats against Grimsby Town um, home on Boxing Day and then another defeat away on uh, New Year's Day at Bundle Park. So uh, Lincoln needing the points uh, in their relegation fight and York very much looking uh, like a team that uh, could be in the playoffs at the end of the season. Got, uh, quite a bit of team news today for you. Uh, Lincoln just signed uh, Connell Platt on an 18-month contract. That news came through last night. Um, it's been released by Cambridge and uh, there was a bit of toing and throwing but Connell Platt now um, is definitely a Lincoln City player for at least 18 months which I'm sure will uh, please David Holdsworth, the Lincoln manager. He said on uh, BBC Radio Lincoln Sherry uh, that uh, I've got a good working relationship with Connell and he's the type of player I want. So uh, that's uh, certainly a bit of good news for uh, Lincoln City supporters. Connell Platt is uh, definitely now signed on an 18 month contract. But there's lots more team news. Uh, Lincoln signed lesser goalkeeper Adam Smith uh, on loan and uh, we also signed Matthew Pearson from uh, Blackburn, Blackburn Defender and he's joined us as well on loan for a couple of months. Um, Smith is actually going to be with us for the rest of the season. He's been training with the first team squad for uh, quite a while now while the deal has uh, been sorted out. Um, Pearson's actually an England under 18 international um, and he's been recruited on what's called the youth loan arrangement and that runs until the 8th of April so uh, it all gets a bit confusing but uh, Adam Smith's with us for the rest of the season and Matthew Pearson's is with us uh, until the 8th of April and then a bit more news uh, regarding the team Lincoln have also got a contract extension with midfielder Tyrone Thompson and again that's till the end of the season just one final bit of uh, new team news uh, that's come out just in the last 48 hours and that's Lincoln have cancelled the registration of fullback Jason Beardsley who was with us on no, no, non-contract terms. So lots and lots of team news. The game's about to uh, kick off so I'll just quickly give you the teams. Um, for Lincoln in goal Joe Anion, number 13 Tony Sinclair, 2 Carlton Watson, 4 Rob Williams, 3 John Nutter, um, 34 Tyrone Thompson, uh, 27 John Francois Christophe, 12 Connell Platt, and uh, Nicky Nicolau 17, Alan Power at 8, and Sam Smith at 14. And I'll just quickly give you the uh, York City team in goal Michael uh, Ingham, number 24, number 3, James Meredith, Chris Smith, number 4, number 6, Daniel Parslow, 7, Jamie Reid, 8, Scott Kerr, a millionaire at Central Bank, 12, Dan Danny Pink Pilkington, 17, Matty Blair, 19, uh, Scott Brown. 20 John Challoner and 26 Patrick McLaughlin and the game has just kicked off here at Central Bank and if you're familiar with the ground then I can tell you that uh, we're up here at the top of the Echo Stand in the press box and Lincoln are kicking towards the old South Park stand uh, which is now uh, called the McFarlane Solicitor Stand and you're kicking towards the Stacey West end of the ground. So that's how it all stands. My co-commentator here with me today is Jeff and uh, we've now just kicked off and that is uh, Joe Anion, the Lincoln keeper who's just putting the ball back into play. Uh, now with uh, a minute gone of the game and it's Lincoln pushing forward towards the South Park end of the ground. <laughs> Well it was, it was so comprehensive that I was a bit late giving the team the line-up as well. <laughs> I didn't realise we were about to kick off and had so much team news in the last 48 hours. <laughs> Well, that's right. Interestingly, I mean, the two new people are both on the... Uh, there's Pearson on the bench, number 32, from Blackburn, and Smith is also on the bench, the Leicester player, so I don't know if we'll see them later on. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's right. Well, uh, anyway, uh, the game, you haven't missed anything while we've been having it. <laughs> uh, but certainly, uh, as listeners, haven't missed anything at all. There's not been any action at all, really. It's, at the moment, the game uh, is in the Lincoln half, but the ball's just going to be uh, cleared by Williams. Yeah, I'd say probably 800 maybe from York, something like that. take this free kick, it's about halfway uh, inside the York half, takes the free kick but uh, doesn't reach the man he was looking for and that's just run free, still in York possession at the moment though, blasted forward and that's just going to go bounce down and out for the second throw. Well I'm not sure if he's given a free kick, I th oh he has. He's a bit unsure though whether he's going to get a free kick or the throw in, but he's given the free kick. And, uh, and yeah, he wasted it, and that goes out for a throw in to Lincoln. And it's, uh, if you're familiar with Central Bank, it's about 20 yards inside the York half now. Uh, right up to the corner flag at the South Park end. And that goes out for a throw in to uh, York. Uh, right on the corner flag. So, um, so far not seen any chances at all in the first uh, 12 minutes from either side. That's right, yeah, they are just uh, sort of feeling each other out at the moment. Um, you would expect York to be the stronger side. I, I went to the away game uh, when uh, a few months back when Lincoln played away at York and I have to say York were far superior to Lincoln at that game. Um, I think it'll be a slightly harder game for York today. Um, that's right, uh, Lincoln were very poor um, at, uh, at York. But that's trying to remember the name of the ground at Booth and Crescent. Um, interesting than the game that we've been watching you've missed absolutely nothing I mean at the moment it's just a throw in but uh, I think <laughs> so it's definitely throw in is given isn't it yeah uh, with nearly 20 minutes gone and it's the first corner of the game to York up at the Stacey West end of the ground it goes to the far post and just headed straight over the top of the crossbar and completely it was wasted opportunity really. So it's goal kick uh, to Lincoln taken by Joannian. Bouncing down into the centre circle and it's just a bit of head tennis at the moment but it's York getting the better of this. Losing, oh keeping on to possession just for the time being, just scratched at the edge of the penalty area. Well taken, that's going to go out for a throw in to York. Very close to the corner flag. Um, it's going to be taken by McLaughlin, very short one. Crossed in but blocked and that will be cleared, well cleared towards uh, Sam Smith. Can't get to it, but the ball does go back and all the way back to uh, Ingham in the York goal.
four goals for the presidential seat. That would have led to the opportunity. What direction do you have to do? Yeah, you know, if you've got some players running right, 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 Families, isn't there? It's so many. Uh...
sides don't want to take any risks and it's almost as if both teams are more scared of losing than they are of winning if you see what I mean. It's almost as if York are kind of scared of conceding and Lincoln are scared of conceding and neither side wants to take any big risks at the moment. I, mean, I hate to say it, but I think both sides, I mean, this, this makes for a very poor game, but I think both sides would be happy with the draw. I think York would be satisfied, and I think Lincoln would as well, and that, you know what I mean, that makes it quite a depressing game, really, if neither side are that bothered. through his mind he's probably thinking well we've had two bad defeats to our arch rivals the last thing we need is to lose again and I think secretly he might be quite sort of happy you know a point a point against the team in, in a playoff place isn't a bad result or anything that neither side wants to take that risk that could lead to a goal. I think if, if either side win it, it's going to be one goal that decides it. Go on, they go! Right, 
signings and what Holmesworth seems to be doing. He seems to be trying to shore up the defence, but it's, it's fine if you can keep a clean sheet, that tactic. But as soon as you can see, you've got nobody up front who can score. It's fine if you can keep it down to nil-nil. Once you do concede, that's it. That's correct, and uh, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't hear that bit. I didn't catch what uh, Mr. Ashton said, but uh, I would guess about 800 or so. See what I mean? So, so I think on number of points, play, games played, and points, I don't think it's actually been any improvement. I think it probably has in the sense that he's getting them playing. You know what I mean? He's getting fitness and he's encouraging the team to uh, have more work ethic and to get fit, which obviously everybody's pleased about. But just in terms of results, so there really hasn't been any change. Uh, is that four bookings now, I think? Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing, I mean, I think now we're in a, a relegation battle and we just need to stop conceding goals. Just get a few draws, at least. I mean, if we'd just drawn nil-nil today, it would have been better than nothing. Some refs would have seen it's even worse. 
Oh no no, it was our play that was bought. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah, it's a fifth, is it a fifth booking I think? Well in that, in that clash I think he just saw it as being our player's fault. Yeah.